So there are some nice questions at the end of last lecture, and uh, it's something that I have thought about and talked about it quite a bit, but I, I codified it a little more. Um, just writing these things up, right? So, and, we, and we're going to get to fame mechanisms later on, which is very much, just, again, a rich get richer thing. So just a sort of a preview of that, and maybe to tie back a little. So we rank things all the time, right? We're really, we, we love to do it. We look for them. It's very helpful. We rank um, all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, you know, uh, un schools, universities, right? Colleges love the rankings. And um, it's not, uh, we, we just can't help ourselves. And it's not, um <coughs> You know, in some cases, these things go horribly wrong, as we know, right? So we'll get to where these things do go horribly wrong and why later on. You know, Mona Lisa and Harry Potter and these sorts of things. Um, dogs is the, um, does it say the right thing? Yeah. <coughs> you should see this one if you haven't seen this one. Where is it? Yes. We rate dogs, right? There's just pictures of dogs. I, th I think they got into trouble recently for taking pictures of dogs, but, you know. Every dog gets 13 out of 10 or 15 out of 10 and stuff like that. Um, nice, cute animal Twitter is pretty good. You know, there's Twitter where you can you know, see of despair and <laughs> suffering <laughs> and, and, and nasty things. But Twitter is quite diverse and um, one of the nice things is uh, cute animal things. Yeah, 13 out of 10, right. Anyway, so if you feel like you want to, wow, what's going on there? Okay, still gave it a 12 out of 10, said it wasn't a dog. Anyway, all right, so we rate dogs. That's a nice rating system there. Um, <coughs> all right, so we like doing this. And of course, because of that, suddenly you have a thing in front of you and you, of course, look at number one, you, right? And I'll sh show later on the course how we do that. Um, very gameable, right? Payola, famously in the music industry, you would pay, and uh, you know, to what extent it's done these days. I don't know, but you, you would just pay to have your song played more. On, on the radio. And of course, you just hear the song over and over again, and you think, well, it can't be that. Must must be okay, right? Um, <coughs> John Barron. Anyone know John Barron? Does anyone know who this is? So this is a persona that Trump used in the 80s and 90s to call into places and say that Trump was awesome. It's quite amusing. You could look this up. It's a Wikipedia piece. I mean, there's, there's a, a Forbes reporter who has a recordings of it. This is how he got onto some billionaire list or something. He would call up and say how much money Trump had. <laughs> it's obviously Trump. <laughs> 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 I know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not even being, I don't know, it's not even a political, this is just this is bizarre. So um, let's see if this works. I don't know if I, it's, it's popping up properly. Yeah, pseudonyms of Donald Trump. So John Barron, David Dennison, maybe you know about, um, and then John Miller is another one. He called up people yeah, to talk about his, yeah. It's like he's a good guy. So it, this, is, this is a long piece about this, uh, how he got himself on the Forbes 400 list. And, and a big part of it was this guy who worked for him, John Barron, who called up and... <laughs> uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, that's another way of gaming these lists. I mean, it's exactly what he did. It was gaming a list to, 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 get, on, to get on it. And once you're on it, people see it, you know, and it's really important to be 10 and not 11, right? That's 11 can be really bad or 101st is really bad. And, and so those are, so we've tried to, uh, f at times we've, um, you know, so we've looked at music lyrics for happiness and various other things. And we've had a couple of students over the years look, try to, try to get hold of the top whatever from um, Billboard over time. And the best effort, I think, ended up with the fact that uh, us finding out that Billboard doesn't really know what it used to do, right? So there's not a, been a consistent thing, and they're not sure how the old algorithms worked. Um, <coughs> that's not great. Uh, so, of course, now we live in a world of black box algorithms, ranking things for us, right? Presenting things in feeds, and usually people get upset when that comes along. So Facebook started using a... a news feed kind of structure in maybe 2008 or 2009, and there was a lot of outcry. People were upset about it, and they're like, I just want my time-ordered feed, and they went back and forth making that an option. You could click on it and so on, and Twitter is finally now messing with things in that way too. People are also upset about that. Uh, Instagram switched at some point, even something like Strava, which is, you know, um, for cyclists and athletes and so on, that's moved to a 
an algorithmic feed, which is it doesn't make any like you don't know what why, right? Okay. So these are now these are these opaque ranking things, and of course if you don't have a clear way of doing it. I mean, there are all these problems with these other rankings, but now you're in this situation where, um, you know, whoever runs those algorithms, either they understand it or they don't, right? So you, you get to, you've got some dials on this box, you can tune things up and down. Um, so you, these are gameable, right? Potentially gameable, but it's hard, right? You can't just call in and pretend to be someone. You have to do some pretty heavy duty stuff. You know, when Google came along, which is a, another ranking thing, uh, it took a while for people to be able to game Google because it used to be these old, you guys are so young, e there were all these old search engines in the 90s called Excite and Lycos and AltaVista and so on. You may have seen them referenced by parody or something in a show. But, uh, you know, there, were all, there was a whole sort of field of these things. And, and generally they worked by saying, if you wanted to find a site about fish, and that site wrote the word fish a million times, then that was a good site about fish. You know, they weren't particularly elaborate. So the gaming for that was to put this sort of invisible metadata thing at the top of your page with the word fish a million times, right? And, um, <coughs> you know, it was pretty straightforward. It's, a, so it's an arms race. But Google comes along and it's a big network story, right? You have to have people, pages have to point to each other and so on and so on. And it becomes a big, it's a singular value decomposition thing. But it becomes this... Um, and it's a random walker thing as well. All those things fit in there. But the idea is, you know, this is a good page. This page we trust, we, we've decided we trust because it's pointed to other pages that we trust and so on and so on. So there's this big reciprocal thing. And that's harder to make. But of course, eventually people figured this out and started to make all of these pages pointing to each other. So you, so you can't just make one page. You have to make a little sea of them and get them to point to each other. And, and then you can trick Google. But, you know, then Google evolved beyond that. But it took a longer time. So if you want to mess around with Facebook, again, you know, you need to have some real skills. Um, <coughs> so, of course, then you can dial these things up and down. You can choose actively to make things spread really strongly, right? Based on if it's getting a few clicks, you can just present it to more people, right? It's not really a list that people now look at. You can just push it out in front of them in all sorts of ways. All right, there's a <coughs> Spider-Man reference, or possibly Voltaire. <laughs> anyway, um, <coughs> so and I just so I, I was thinking about this, you know, for many years. And Instagram has been obviously I'm going to mention this, but uh, Instagram has various problems, right? People, there's a lot of self-image problems with Instagram. People seeing people who are you know, better than them, which we'll get to. Unfortunately, I think might be just a, a feature of social networks, just you know, on average. I've mentioned this, your friends have more friends and so on. So just built in. But uh, Instagram has avoided having regramming, right? Not like retweeting or sharing things. It doesn't have that. So that tamps down the, you know, the, the forest fire kind of nature of these, um, some of these social uh, media uh, outfits that, you know, usually, yeah, they want you to spread it, right? So it takes off. But there's none of this. So it's sort of, and, and links don't work, right? You can't put links in, you can put a link in it, but it's not live. So that sort of just slows it down. And this is all very controllable. I mean, that's a very f um, structural choice. But, you know, in the black boxes, you can also tune the knobs a little bit to, you know, maybe not push things out as much. And we'll look at voting later on, depending on how much vote, um, <coughs> something is presented to people as a function of past success, you either can get everyone to sort out the ordering of everything, if there's some underlying quality distribution, or, you, or no one can collectively find it out, right? Because the things that got in front early on keep getting pushed in front of people. So there's this early success leads far too much to, to success, and it gets divorced from quality. Um, <coughs> so, you know, that's, people want that, right? They keep asking for it, but in fact, it could lead to, you know, disaster. So, and, uh, and New York Times, which has all sorts of terrible things coming out of it, but uh, they, there was an interesting piece here which um, lists a few of these things, and I think regramming was one of them. Uh, do I have it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I guess it's here. Yeah. Instagram, let's see, it's too much. Well, they just, fu uh, the, the two heads of Instagram just left. If you s is that true? Right? Yeah, they just left Facebook. So, um, I don't know why this isn't doing it. So, you know, things aren't going well. Um, so it's visuals, right? You have to actually do something and, and put it up. You can't, you know, reposting doesn't work. No links. This is their list. Uh, and then no regramming, I guess. 
was in there as well. And bad actors are um, unavoidable, but it's it's containable. I maybe yeah, but it's interesting. I mean, Facebook has come under a lot of scrutiny, of course. Um, <coughs> anyway, this is this this rich get richness, and of course we've moved a long way away from that model, but it's there, right? There's there's uh, this um, replication, um, more more elaborate ways of doing it. You know, now we've got this big sophisticated panopticon that's getting everyone's information and feeding it back to you, right? And and there's some way of doing that. It's not a simple adding up beans thing. Oh, it's adding up lots of different kinds of beans. All right. 